Hi, I'm Mike Neundorfer with Advanced RV in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm here to share some information from a trip Marsh and I recently made. It wasn't an RV trip because it was across the pond. Uh, we went to the Dusseldorf RV show where almost a quarter of a million people attended. It's a huge exposition of motorhomes and motorhome supplies. It covers, I think, around 10 buildings, large buildings. So we went first to Switzerland and picked up in their car our good friends, uh, Chris and Marta, who some of you know. Chris and Marta have a new Volvo SUV, and I drove on the Autobahn, which was a lot of fun, to Dusseldorf, about a five-hour drive. With Chris's permission, I got it up to a little over 140. Steady as a rock, uh, was still gaining a little bit of speed. I, I think we could have gotten more out of it, but there was traffic coming up, so I, I slowed back down. But a lot of fun. The roads in Switzerland and Germany are amazingly smooth, and the drivers are amazingly attentive. If you text in Germany while you're driving, you lose your license. For high speed infractions, they actually, uh, I'm told, adjust the fine to what your income is. So they look at your income. I was told a story by Chris that one Porsche went through a tunnel. They had uh, clocked him. Uh, the police were there. They pulled over his Porsche and they confiscated it, auctioned it, and that was his fine. It's amazing what we can learn from uh, other countries and uh, how, how people do things. We got to the show and we had meetings and lunches and dinners set up with our partners and suppliers and Mercedes-Benz had a, a wonderful get together. We got to look at the new 2019 Sprinter. We got to talk to the designers of the control systems and we saw many things that are exciting to us. So after Dusseldorf, we flew to Dublin to visit our friends who we've known for 30 years. And one of the things that's so fun about traveling is to talk to people and get a sense of their perspective on what's going on in the United States as far as uh, politically and tariffs and socially, and then to learn what's going on in other countries. Uh, in Ireland right now, in Dublin, there were cranes all over the place. Uh, Ireland is uh, economically in a strong position. They're calling it their second Celtic tiger. Uh, but there's a cloud kind of hanging over, some uncertainty around Brexit in Britain, where uh, if that goes through as it's planned, there'll be a, a international border between Northern Ireland, which is part of Great Britain, and the Republic of Ireland to the south. So all these things are quite interesting. After we left Dublin after a few days, uh, we went to Rome, and we stayed in one of the best hotels in the, in the world, actually, right on the Spanish steps. Uh, we stayed there because we got a, a significant discount, but I went through the room and, and sent back pictures of many, many details in this room, uh, from controls and lighting to uh, a design of the, of the marble, and uh, uh, it, there were, it was just amazing, the detail and the design that the Italians uh, put into this, this fine hotel. So we spent a few days there, uh, spent some time with my sister and her husband. My sister's been in, uh, living in Rome for 30 years, and so they were great tour guides. We spent two weeks on the trip. Uh, we learned a lot about uh, um, the different countries we visited and especially about the Mercedes and what our partners all over the world are providing uh, for new products and innovation to help us uh, innovate for our clients. It was a, a great time traveling with Marsha as it always is and we learned a lot. Thanks for listening.